All right, so uh, here we go. What I want to do is take a look at this problem. What we have is we have an angle. Uh, the angle, is, the measure, uh, name of the angle is called ABD, and the measure of the angle ABD is equal to 79 degrees. So this problem, what it's asking us is, if we know the measure of angle ABD is equal to 79 degrees, then what is the measure of angle ABC and what is the measure of angle DBC? Well, remember when we're naming angles, we need to find the measure of angle A to B to C and then also DBC. So we wanna find these two angles. Now the only thing that we're given is we're given actually two expressions for the angles, but the expressions have a variable in them, right? They both have an X, which is our unknown. So what that automatically tells me is when I'm gonna be solving for this, I need to find the value of my variable X. Once I know the value of my variable X, I can plug in those values for each angle to find the value of, um, or plug in the value for each X to find the value of each angle. So how am I going to determine um, what these two angles are? Well, I'm gonna do that by the angle sum theorem. And here's what I'm, here's what I'm thinking. If I had an angle, and let's say this one was 10, and this angle is 20 degrees, right? I'm not doing any special angles. I know this is not looking very well. But if I did a 10 degrees and 20 degrees, and then I just wanna know what is, so if the smaller angle was 10, then this one was 20, what is just the general size of those two angles combined together? Well, you could say, well, that's a 30 degree angle, right? So if I have two smaller angles, them added up gives me that larger angle. So that's exactly the same case with this, except instead of dealing with nice angles already, I have expressions, but it's okay. The exact same thing is um, gonna be used. So I can say 10 plus 20 equals 30. Well, in this case, I don't have nice little numbers. I have expressions. However, I can say 5x plus 4 plus 8x minus 3 is equal to 79 degrees. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do to write my equation so I can solve for x. Because remember, using an equation, that's gonna help us solve for x. So what I'm gonna write is 5x plus four, and I'm just gonna put them in parentheses, plus 8x minus three equals 79. And what this does is this tells me, all right, I know that this angle put this angle equals the total. Now, let's just use our, um, our process for solving an equation to, uh, to solve for x. So here, I don't really need the parentheses anymore um, because this is just an addition. So I can add the 5x and the 8x, which is gonna give me 13x. Four minus three is one, is a positive one, equals 79. Then I'll subtract one, both sides, and I get 13x equals 78. Um, and then I'll divide by 13 And let's see here, so I'll get x is equal to six. So now that I know that value of x equals six, I can plug in six into both of these angles. So for measure of angle, uh, let's do ABC. I'll have A to B to C is eight x minus three, but to find the value of it, I'm gonna do eight times six minus three eight times six is 48, minus three is 45. So the measure of angle ABC is equal to 45 degrees. And then I'll do the measure of angle, measure of angle uh, DBC is five X plus four. Well, five X is equal to six plus four. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34 degrees. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use the angle sum theorem to find the measure of your angles. There you go. I hope it helped. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please see uh, down below. Thanks.